guys, it's Andrew with Burning Beard Outdoors. And today I'm excited. And I've been trying to get out to get this video made for about a month. Between the fire restrictions and the smoke in the air and the wildfire and the mandatory burn bans and the Department of Environmental Quality and everything else, I hadn't been able to get it done. Well, today is that day. Have you heard of the Swedish torch, the Canadian candle, the Finnish log stove, the Estonian volcano, Paul Bunyan stogie, the trapper's furnace? Well, I've heard about a hundred different terms for what we're fixing to do here, but at the end of the day, we're taking a log, we're splitting it four ways, we're lighting the inside of it on fire and turning it into a stove. Today's exercise in fancy camp cookery is going to involve this midi or mighty Mai Tai camp stove by Sports. It's fancy sports. It has an E at the end of it. The first thing we got to do is get this log split. Now with your regular Swedish torch, that's pretty much all there is to it. You stuff the inside of that with some kindling, light her up and let her go. The problem with doing this is you've got to have some gaps in here to allow air to get in. Well, as you can see, that's not going to create much of a stable platform for you to cook on. The genius behind this product is that it locks everything in place and gives you a really stable platform for doing your cooking. You just place the top on here. You put the, well, these gigantic nails in their slots out on the outsides of each of the quartered pieces. And what that does is that holds everything where it needs to go. Then you can spread out the bases, the bottoms a little bit to allow air to flow and get a good burn. This also gives you, again, that stable platform for putting your pots and your pans or your coffee pot or whatever it is that you're gonna do. Now, the way this works, with these gaps in the side of the log, that creates a place for the fire to draw air to the inside where it's burning. That drawing of air keeps the fire from burning the outsides of your logs right away. So now we're going to get us some pine needles and stuff this sucker and light her up. Once you get her stuff, just spread the base out a little bit and light it up. Oh my gosh, you just used the lighter. I can't believe it, he used the lighter. Well, folks, I appreciate you taking the time to stop by and watch this video. The Mai Tai Mighty, Mighty Camp Stove. That's a pretty cool little product. 
I don't believe I'd uh, I'd hunch around the back country with this in my backpack. It weighs in at about two pounds. It is made out of laser cut stainless steel. However, something to keep around base camp, deer camp, for a quick boil, quick cook, quick fire. Absolutely, I'd say it's worth it. Well, guys, I appreciate you stopping by to watch this video. I appreciate your likes and your comments. I appreciate your subscriptions. I don't do a whole lot of product reviews, but I thought this one was pretty cool. If you get a hankering to get one, the name of the company that makes them is Sports, S-P-O-R-T-E-S. Uh, it's made in, Can <laughs> it's made in Canada. Uh, or you can go by LoneCone.com and pick one up. They've got them. Until the next video, guys, we'll get this stuff figured out.